Hey friend, I'm Jen Eads, the head broad in charge at the Brassy Broadcasting Company. I'm down here in my studio on a Saturday morning because I am so excited to walk you through this new tool from Libsyn, the podcast hosting company where I host all of my podcasts. They have added this new feature called Libsyn Connect. So if you are looking for a really simple way to record your co-host or your podcast guest and you need to record them virtually when you can't be in the same room, this, I, I was just blown away at how simple it was to use and how good it sounded. So I'm going to walk you through that here in just a minute. I'm going to open up my screen and you can follow along. What Libsyn has done with Libsyn Connect is they've added this feature within Libsyn. So if you're currently using the $20 Libsyn plan at the time that I am recording this video, this Libsyn Connect feature is included within that. And I used it this week to record my jujitsu podcast. Normally I'm in the same space with my co-host, but because of schedules and all sorts of things, we had to record virtually. So I had the perfect opportunity to test this out. And I have to tell you, I was not disappointed. I'm actually over the moon because it is so simple to record virtual podcast interviews now, and it sounds really good. So I'm going to open up my screen here and walk you through the process of what it looks like to schedule the interview and then go in and actually record it. Okay, so we are here in my Libsyn dashboard. We're going to go to New and then Connect Call. And... Here on the call screen, you can see that I've got a couple of recordings that are already done. This is where they live so that I can come back in and access them when I'm ready to download the recordings. But for now, we're going to go to new call and record now. And we'll just call this test two. Here's where the guest email would go. It's going to default to my name for the host name. And I really like this bar down here because now you can give the guest an idea of how long this call is going to be. So it defaults to an hour, but say we typically do a 30-minute interview, then we can switch it right here or bump it up to 45 or leave it set at an hour. And down here, we can add call notes. So maybe there's a note that you want to give to the guest or... What we've done for the Beauty and the Ghee podcast, last time we recorded an episode, we put some key points in here, and it's nice because we can take this little button down here and share call notes with the guest so that they can also have access to those and edit them as well. You want to make sure that this button right here is set to create individual tracks. That's so you and your guest will be recorded on separate tracks. It will make life so much easier when you go to edit or when you send your files off to your editor. They will love you forever. And just hit start. Oh, yeah, we got to put something in here for the call notes. We'll just put hi. Then we hit start. Now we're in the call setup screen. And pay close attention here to your mic. Hit the wheel, check out the drop down, and make sure if you are using an external microphone that you have it set to the microphone, and then this is going to show you what your level is. And then you're just going to click on Join Call. And here's what it looks like. And when you're ready to record, hit Record. You can see the call notes popped up over here. And then there's also a live chat feature that allows you to chat back and forth with your guest. And then if you want your guest to be able to edit the call notes, here's where you turn that on and off. And then when you're ready to record, hit record. If you need to invite guests directly from inside this screen, just click on the button to invite guests and it's gonna pop up this screen. You can put in their email, send them a message and send invites and invite them to your call. And then when you're done, hit end call and then you'll see your session info pop up. Now let's set the call up so that you are actually scheduling it in advance and sending an invite to your co-host or your guest. We're gonna go back up to new call, schedule recording. Oh look, I think we've been here before where we set up all of our call options. This is very similar, we'll call this test three. Their email's gonna go there, my name defaults here. You wanna make sure that you uh, schedule a time and a date. Remember, pop something into the call notes and hit schedule. 
And then you can see it pops up here in your scheduled recordings. You can go into here if you need to edit it. And we can go back. And if something happens and you need to cancel it, delete the scheduled call. And that's it. That is how simple it is to use Libsyn Connect. Okay, so I just want to recap this really quickly. So here are the three things that I love about Libsyn Connect. Number one, it's already available in the $20 Libsyn hosting plan that I'm using anyway. So maybe there's a monthly expense that I can get rid of someplace else. Number two, it is so simple to use. And number three, it sounds good. And that's it. That's all I've got for you right now. I would love to hear from you. If you've used Libsyn Connect, let me know in the comments how it was for you. I'd love to hear about your experience. And no, Libsyn's not paying me to do this. I'm just so excited that I now have another tool that is really simple to use that I can give to my clients. While you're here, if you are looking for more podcasting tools, tips, and resources, make sure you check out the playlist that I've created with a bunch of podcasting tutorial videos. And subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Leave a message in the comments. Just say hi. I would love to know who's watching. Thanks for tuning in. Now get out in the world, make something cool, and do some good.